Zelda's Deep Heard, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are heading back into the game, but we have completed all the DLC adventures, so what else is there left to really check out? Well, there is the Ancient Hunt over this way. This is something I want to check out soon, um, but basically with this, you must offer at least one item to begin an Ancient Hunt. Offering enchantments points will attract more ancient mobs, and the enchantment points will be spent once you start the mission. Each spent enchantment point will reduce your hero level by one, and the combination of runes on your offered items will affect with ancient mobs you encounter. So I don't know if the weapons that we offer go away. It's a little confusing in some ways. So we have that kind of stuff going on. I think that maybe that's what we'll take a look at for today's episode. But there's other things like daily trials and of course the tower I'll be doing episodes on soon too. But since I haven't talked about it too much, there's also the Adventure Hub, which is sort of a season-based thing where we can earn different rewards. And we've been slowly earning up levels just through the uh, free stuff, but I wanted to start earning up the paid stuff as well. So I figured now might be a perfect time to go ahead and purchase the pass so we can get 11 levels worth of rewards here and nine more there. So yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so I've unlocked the Adventure Pass content for season one, Cloudy Climb. All premium rewards up to your level have been claimed for you. So as you can see, We've already claimed it just by getting it. So I'll have to go and check this out, but we'll take a look at the rewards we currently have then. So we have things like the Raven, which is going to be some kind of, uh, I think, a uh, little friend that can follow us around. We also get different skins like the Cloud Watcher, the Healing Rain. I'm guessing that's like a taunt. It doesn't really tell me exactly what it is. Here's a different one, the melee moves. Very cool. Uh, the Blacksmith costume, the Smooth Operator taunt. Very cool, it's like a little robot dance, I like it. We've also gotten some free stuff, like some emeralds, the uh, knight costume, the fox, and then over this way we have the hero pose, the boom explosion, very cool. Oh, these are maybe just different visual effects. The sploosh effect, the ironic dance. That's very ironic. Uh, the pickaxe, ooh. And then finally, spotted baby pig. Very cute, so that's all I got there for Cloudy Climb. And hopefully we can just keep working on stuff to get higher and higher levels. But to equip that kind of thing, I think we gotta go down here. So first off, yeah, we have our Raven, a moody bird that is popular with angsty poets, obtained as a Cloudy Climb adventure reward. I'll equip this one for now, and I will have to find out, I'm not really sure how I actually use these emotes. I don't know what button it is but I'll keep with the erotic dance. And then I got the healing flare, rainbow colored rain that falls from above, so we'll do that one. And then the respawn flare, the hero revives the bang, and the mob flare, the mob bursts and the rain drops. So these are very cool little effects to have. I'm definitely happy to have them. And now we can hop back in and we're going to try out this new feature, the ancient hunt. For right now, I don't know if it's going to use a weapon or not, so I'm just gonna give a basic weapon and see what happens. Did that work? I think it did. Um, maybe, where did it go? Uh, yeah, I want this one. Is that doing anything? Oh, there we go. Offer this item, and it doesn't give a lot of points, so I could offer some higher end things. But with that being said, what do I currently have equipped? I'm sorry, I'm taking a while here, but I do have some things equipped already that are all legendary, and none of them are powered up. I have 25 points to offer, and maybe I should get the Grave Bean to my blacksmith? Yeah, I should. Okay, so. Well, actually, I don't have that spot unlocked for, so maybe I can't. Okay, so, because I know I had some duplicate stuff before, duplicate legendaries. I don't know if I got rid of those or not, but if I hadn't, it might be a good time to offer them. But you know what? Let's transfer something like that to my inventory. Anything that isn't a unique, I think might be worth just dumping in and seeing what ends up happening, because that's what I'm really curious about. So once I figure out a little bit more about how this works, you know, we'll be able to do more, but for right now, Offer this item. Oh, so I can only offer one of each type, huh? Okay, so not gonna offer either of those for right now, but I can offer something here, and I can invest points into them, but I, I think I run the risk of losing those points is the one thing. So maybe I'll do that. I'll invest four points. No ancient mobs respond to these offerings. Okay, see, that's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. So what will make them respond? Uh. What if I withdraw that item, withdraw that one? And I did put something in that's maybe a little bit higher end, the Ember Robe, offering two weak. Uh, the total total item power must be at least 100. So if I do that, no. Um, so let's add some other stuff. I have the flail here, or maybe 
Does that add more points? No. So it really has to be rarer items whenever they have, I guess, different symbols and stuff. This definitely takes a while to sort of figure out. Huh. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to figure this out. Sorry if it's taking me a while, but... Maybe I'll just do basic like this and we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure. We might lose these items here, which is fine because I didn't plan on equipping them. We're just going to go for it. Um, oh, did I unequip something? I don't think I did. Let's confirm this. Oh, here we go. So here are our offerings. We didn't put any points on the line just so I can figure out what we're doing and the power. So right now we're at Adventure 5, which is 56. I could try Adventure 6, but that's a little too high. So I think I'll do something like this. We'll confirm our difficulty and we'll start our mission. The one thing I didn't do though is I didn't upgrade my stuff with my current points. So maybe I should do that as we're getting started. But our first ancient hunt, let's see how this goes. And here we are. So we're in one of the like sand temples. Now if I take a quick look at what I currently have equipped right over here, um, we have things like pain cycle. Uh, attacking drains your life to grant one stack of pain cycle. Critical hit gives you a chance to inflict critical hit stealing damage or exploding. Mobs explode after they're defeated. I think we probably want critical hit. Yeah, I'll do something like that. We have shockwave. The last attack in a combo launches a shockwave, prospector, and ambush. Attacks on mobs that are not act actively targeting you deal increased damage. I think we probably want shockwave. So I got some of that, and I think we'll upgrade our armor. So we have things like frenzied when you're at last and half health. We have increased stats, increased movement speed for one second after taking damage, and then life boost. Each time you respawn, your maximum health increases. Health goes back to normal. That only is helpful if you die though. So I don't know if that's really what we're after for the moment. I think out of all these, this is probably my best one. And then we have multi-roll, gains grants extra roll, or fire focus to fire damage he deals increased. Which I don't know if we're really doing too much fire damage right now, but I don't really have too many points to put into those. So we'll see how that ends up working out. We have our little uh, crow following us, or a raven. So let's give this a go and hopefully it turns out well. And of course, I'll start with some, oh gosh, some electric arrows. And hopefully we don't lose and lose all of our stuff, you know? But I just gotta try for it and see how things go. All right, we're already taking some pretty major damage. Here we go. Let's back up a little bit. This is definitely a different loadout than I'm used to. Oh my gosh, and they pack a punch. So we're just gonna try to back up a little bit as I'm getting used to everything, and hopefully as things go on, I'll sort of figure it out. Okay, one more, got him. No, wait, <laughs> that almost got me. Oh my gosh. So we're supposed to be going to the left. Obviously, I don't want that right now if I'm struggling so much. There we go. I'm just trying to hang back and whoa, wait for my, that was good. Wait for my potion to become available again. The only problem is I'm using a lot of arrows at the moment. Ooh, TNT, that's actually really good for the situation because it can explode a bunch of those guys. Ow, whoa, that's not good. Let's get around to you so I can fight that guy off. There we go. So I'm not really sure if I'm liking this combo so much so far, but I'm trying to do what I can with it. Got it. And then maybe I can just slice you. That worked out a little bit. Good enough, good enough. And what's down this way? Ooh, it looks like we're already getting some secret stuff to the side. Ooh, a blaze? Whoa, whoa! Okay, not good, but I was able to survive it. That was crazy. But there's more witches, and they're after me. Trying to use the range to my advantage, but even that's a bit of a challenge. Come on, one more. I think I got it, maybe? Come on, come on. Ready? Run over right now, and then slice ya. Got it. This is tough. This is so difficult. See, I really might retract back to what I've done before, We'll have to wait and see. Okay, for right now, ooh. Let's yeah, use these electric arrows whenever I can. The creepers are coming in. Oh my goodness. There we go, much better. And we get a chest, whoa, gold bars? Merchant unlocked, piglin merchant. That's new. Okay, so I'll have to take a look at that at some point. Is that like, huh. So a new feature back at the town or something, or maybe it's somewhere around here. For right now though, if I can open up this door and get some supplies, I want the arrows, I wanna save the bread for when we're hurting a little bit more, because at this point, that's gonna be a pretty high chance it'll be soon. Uh, oh my, because look at this, we got the piglins coming in. So we're not quite in the nether at the moment, but it sort of feels like it with the, the blazes and the 
piglins coming in. There's some of them taken out. Oh my, uh, move the map. That yeah, was sort of in the way. But whenever I do get in close with these swords, that seems to be doing pretty good. It's just closing that distance, especially in some areas, can be a bit challenging. Okay, there we go. And I am still getting some kind of lifesteal for beating them up, so that's good. Looks like I get plus 18 per hit. So if I can just dodge their hits and then go in and hit them a couple times myself, we're doing pretty good. Okay, okay, now this is where I need to be careful. Come on, go, 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 got it. And I get an apple for that, thank you very much. Is there more? Of course there is, we get a gas to fight. Oh boy, come on, just slice them up. No, maybe don't slice them up. Jeez, the giant gas shots. I'm gonna take that bread now, if you don't mind. It's gonna fill me up pretty well. Oh no, that hurt, that really hurt. Oh, don't you run from me. Come on, ah, oh, they got me. That's okay, because we still have two more lives left, but this is proving to be tough with my current layout. So I really might consider changing back to what we've had before. Let's get rid of you, there we go. Land those criticals, we got you. So that's a couple more gold bars. Whoa. And what's in that one? Nothing really, okay. But the mobs themselves don't drop anything in this mode. So we're really just focused on surviving past them wherever we can. I mean, I think we might be getting experience off the double check. We're about yeah, halfway through level 77. Now, can I get in here or do I have to do the same thing? Okay. I sure do hope we're getting experience because that would be just good progress. Come on. Gotcha. That was good. And I got a gold bar for it. So it looks like they still dropped something. The only thing is it, oh no, it does. Show me where my gold bars are right down this way. 22 of them. Okay, ooh, they pack a punch around here. Come on, the wither skeleton's gotta go. Because that wither effect isn't so good for us. Yeah, and here we actually are gonna get some emeralds, as well as a couple more gold bars, and a couple more emeralds. So it looks like that's actually everything for this little area. That was fun, even though we did lose a life through it all. I think overall we did do good, and I have this TNT for the next time we run into the problems. But I can't wait to see what this piglin merchant is gonna be like. Um, it looks like there's an area over to the top that we need to check out. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna toss it over and just do what I can against all these guys. Oh no, oh no, they're not so friendly. I need to find yet yeah, whoever's enchanting them, get rid of them first. And that's sort of, you know, I get some bonus speed from all of my, uh, there we go. From all my artifacts, I need to make the most of this. Grab that apple. Is there anything up here? There's not, so that's gonna be that done. I think we are gaining experience. It's still hard to tell. I'll just have to see where we are by the end of this. But it looks like there might be something extra down this way. Or is this where we started? Oh, I think this is where we started, Never mind. I'm just being silly. But I'm keeping up okay with arrows even though I've been using them a lot. Go, gotcha which is good because these big groups, they at least need the electric arrows. Oh, wait, wait, okay, I just barely used my potion in time. I need to move it. And once again, slice and dice these guys. I'm getting more and more in trouble as I go along now. I might lose a life here because you are enchanted by the enchanter. Ah, oh, no. I don't think this setup works for my current setup though. I mean, this setup works for the difficulty I'm at, you know? Come on, hoping I don't lose too much health here, but not going the best. Jeez, this is so tough. Got it. You seem to back up a little bit. And I do have, yeah, a, a teleport right now with my, I think it's my robes or something give me the teleport. Not entirely sure. Gotcha. Let's get a little bit closer to them with that. And that's everything and everyone over here. It doesn't tell me there's 22 chests to fight, so this is a long, long level that we need to survive, but I'm just not doing the best with right now. Okay, so I hit them, but they hit me right back. Where oh, the potions are not so fun. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on. There's too much going on here. Okay, I exploded them somehow there, that was great but it's just very hard to hit them one-on-one, -on -one, which is what this weapon needs. That's the only problem, is you can't really fight multiple foes with these, these daggers. So I'm not liking that too much just yet. I need to grab that, then we run over, slice you, 
and you. Oh, another apple, I really need that. Oh, and a chest waiting for us. That's gonna give me some more arrows. And then, oh no. Any ranged opponent is what we should focus on first. Okay, gotcha. Come on, no way. No, oh, they got me again. That was so close to, I almost, I just need one more swipe on them. Yeah, as you can see, this is proving to be really tough. So I might have to change back. And I don't know if I still have that stuff in my inventory right now. Like if I were to equip that right now, and I just wanna see how well we do with this, right? Um, and where's my bow? There it is. Will this make a difference? Does this show that my current setup isn't very good? We'll see in a moment. Okay, I'm gonna press this button. We're gonna hope for the best. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not a fair comparison at all. Um, not in the slightest. What do I do here? The Grim Guardian and his 30,000 friends. Wow, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. This is insane. Uh, I'm just trying my best to dodge everything, but geez, the lightning arrows are gonna do some huge work here though, for sure. Uh, if I can survive this all, that'd be huge, but I think I might wanna leave. Ah! Come on, that was hardly fair. That was hardly fair at all. Man. So I think that, I don't know, I gotta try this again to see if this setup is better, because I think it will be. But either way, geez, that was crazy. And I think I got another achievement there, I didn't see what it said. So where is this piglin merchant that the game mentioned? Because here's our typical merchants, right? Where is the piglin one? I don't think it would show on the map at all. I'll have to look around for it for a little bit. Maybe up here? This is the tower, really. Yeah, which is something I think we'll check out next episode. I'm really confused. It's gotta be around somewhere. Okay, I think it might be in this door. Whoa, 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 hold on. Okay, yeah, it looks like there's something, because there's the big nether portal here, and this is where we can do the ancient hunt again. So this is where in the map itself, ancient hunt is. So here's the piglin merchant, and whoa, they do sell a gilded rare pickaxe. I guess the gilded makes it better, but unfortunately, I think the items that we put up for auction, basically, don't come back, right? Yeah, they're gone. So that's good to keep in mind that we can get some really good loot out of this, but only if things turn out well. So obviously this pickaxe, I mean, it's high in some things, but I don't know if this is worth going for at the moment. We'll try to get something from there at some point today, but you really need to make sure we're, you're putting in good stuff, but not stuff that you'd be like broken up with, you know, if you end up not getting it back. So I think with that being said, I mean, I just didn't really like that setup too much. I think we're just gonna keep with what I got because that's been working pretty well for me. Um, this imploding crossbow, am I really gonna use it? I don't think so. So I think things like that might be good. If I go over, let me withdraw that item. Go over here and try putting in this one. This one doesn't have any points in it, so that's at least something. When it comes to my artifacts and stuff, what is an artifact I don't use too often? A lot of these. Uh, I think something like the soul healer or something. I don't have to keep my duplicates from here on out. Um, Tome duplication. Yeah, sure, let's put something like that in there. Um, and maybe even like a soul robe. Would that be enough? No ancients, no ancient mobs respond to these offerings. See, that's where it gets complicated. I'm still trying to learn some of this. I think what we have to do then, really quick, is I need to go get some from my my chest right up here. There we go. And we have a lot up here. So there's, there's definitely stuff I can trade in. Um, things like the Hunter's Promise, which I just don't think I'm gonna be using. Uh, the harp crossbow I want to keep, that's one of my favorites. But, you know, the stalwart armor is not really my style. That's a very heavy weapon. Um, so maybe we could try a couple of those and see how things go. Maybe it'll be a bit different. And then some of these other ones. Obviously, I have a great being equipped right now. This one's a weaker version. So if I make sure just not to send in the wrong one, maybe we can make things work with that. And that's where we definitely want to keep all of our uniques. We do not want to trade them in or sell them or anything now. So yeah, let's try this all again. And hopefully this time things go a little bit better. See, I'm going to, is my weaker one, offer this item. I can put a point in, and I can potentially get some stuff in return. I don't know what the ancients mean. Is that a type of mob? Is that a type of new gear? I really don't know. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. So maybe I'll do that. And then when it comes to some other stuff, yeah, I'll put this gear in instead. And that's when things step up a little bit, right? We're getting different kinds of ancients. Hmm. So depending on the different things, we'll get different kinds of ancients. 
For better or for worse, I really have no clue. We're just gonna try it. <laughs> I think we're just gonna try it. Um, do I wanna lower the power? Obviously that's gonna lower the rewards, but 5660, I don't know, maybe we'll just do this just because I want to see. And also, since I haven't actually read the story, let's check this out. The ancient hunt begins. Will you claim treasures beyond compare or be defeated by the ancient mobs who are drawn to your power? That's what we're gonna find out. So let's go into it and hope that this time I can make things work. Ancient hunt is ready. Starting the mission will destroy the offered items and enchantment points. Do you wish to continue? Sure. All right, so we only put one point in. So that's sort of the thing is that you're, you're sacrificing these points and these items for the fact that you get gold, which you can use on high higher end items. And that's where maybe this is a lot more end game than I'm prepared for right now, if you think about it. Oh, we're only level 76. Oh, because the enchantment point is using my actual level count. I understand now. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of sacrifice you go through for the ancient hunt stuff. And maybe I should try to get farther in the main game before I do such a thing then. I mean, obviously I've completed all the DLC, but there's plenty of like daily trials and stuff to do. There's the tower itself. Maybe I should be stronger before I do these kind of things. Because I think this is really implemented for the players that have completed all the content and replayed it several times on the higher difficulties and have gotten a ton of stuff. I think that's who it's mainly designed for. And that's great. Obviously I haven't gone there. I've only played through everything once at whatever difficulty I could access. But as you can see, we're running into a lot of cool enemies here. Ooh, what's up here, I wonder? Uh, so far, a lot of danger. Okay, so I gotta wait around up here, and then they're gonna be hopping on me from every angle. Oh my gosh, um, get up here. There's a couple more, a couple more, got it. Boom, boom. So obviously with this being a lower difficulty, it's working out a lot better, but I just love weapons that have the spread shot with the arrows, and obviously the glaive has some good reach too. I'm really appreciating this a lot more, in my opinion, you know? So. I think this is just the setup for me for now. I know sometimes people don't like the setups I do or that I use them too often and I should do more variety, but I just notice I don't get as far in the game when I do those because, you know, I just have a certain play type. As every player does, you know, every player is going to gravitate towards like a certain setup. And like, while I try to showcase what I can, when it comes to actually trying to progress through the game and make a good impact with things, I got to do what I'm going to be most comfortable with so that we can actually see the content. All right then, so I'm gonna toss that. Whoa, that went so much farther than I anticipated. Uh, I was gonna try to toss it down there, but we had a stronger arm than I thought. Okay, so I do see you down here. This is where things get interesting. Uh, a lot of these guys here are beefed up. And I'm just trying to explore through as much as I can. We'll be able to go a lot faster because this is the lower difficulty. And look at this, looks like we found a cave. So I think just like last time, we'll be able to find a lot of gold here. We've already found, well, we have 34 in total. So hopefully we can explore all of this and get even more. So boom, boom, boom. Wow, that was a lot. Yeah, that jumped us up 11, which considering how much we had, that's quite a considerable jump. Okay, so that's gonna activate. I think while it is, isn't there usually one over here too? Let's just get them both rolling and see what kind of impact that makes. It's gonna be a lot of enemies, of course, but that's sort of what I want for my lightning arrows, is as many enemies running around as possible so I can smack them all. Okay, got it. That was pretty good. I'm sure there's gonna be more popping up, yep. But maybe I put the difficulty too low because now I'm just smacking through them super easy. It's always hard to tell. But I'm glad this is at least something we were able to take a look at. I think that after today's episode, I might not touch this for a while until we're farther along in the game if we wanna keep playing. But I definitely wanna at least check out the towers and maybe a little bit of the daily trials. So let's open up that and this stuff. Very cool. So got a little bit more out of all that. I'm gonna zoom over here super quick. And, oh, okay, I was gonna say, did it not open? It just opened from this side. There's a couple more. Golden bars with the 56, 57 of them now. So definitely we're making a lot more rewards. And that's always nice. But hopefully we can get more than just a pickaxe from the picklin. But it is either way, whatever we get, it's gilded, which should make it better. So there's all that, and we just need little sections we can try to clear out, but even that doesn't seem like it's the most important thing in the world. 
how am I getting down there, though? I think I want to plop down like this. Got it. These guys, ooh, they hit hard. So even though I can get rid of them pretty quick, they can get rid of me pretty quick, too. So what's going on up here? Another huge bundle of enemies. Oh no, that's just gonna lower me into the lava. Great. So I guess don't even bother with that. You just wait for that all the lower. I remember this from whatever level this is from. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just barely used a potion in time. This is actually too much. Get rid of the range guys, and then go for you guys. Jeez, that was crazy. But clearing it out to give me more gold bars and stuff. So that's nice. Okay, so I'll have to be careful until we get our health back then. Slicing those guys definitely helps with that. Okay, zooming back over here. Okay, that could have been better. This place is huge though. There's a lot of little spiders down that way. I wanna save my electric arrows for them then. Okay, got it. And, let's get on this way. It's almost like a maze, crazy. Got it, that's another swiftness potion. I think I could roll to here. Oh no, that's where I was though, so that wasn't really worth it. I just saw an area that was like, oh no, I can make a cool move to get over there, and then I didn't even realize I've already been there. Okay, that's my potion effect, the little rain cloud. That's cool. Got it. And it's not the end of the world if I don't get every enemy. I mean, obviously, I think it's still experience. Once again, it's sort of hard to tell, because the experience bar moves so slow, it can be hard to tell if it actually is moving. We, no, no, I think I just saw it nudge a little bit forward. <laughs> so, yeah, we're still getting experience from all this, and that's a big thing, so hopefully, you know, even though I'm sacrificing enchantment points, I can hopefully just over time earn them back. Getting a lot of poison damage right now from all these cave spiders, I think. That was pretty good, though. There's a huge chunk of stuff I haven't explored up here, and it's all bonus stuff. Oh, I clicked off the game, I was like, what happened? <laughs> Whoops, gotta be careful of that. Oh, these guys are all enchanted. Gotta be careful, the range guys are what really did a number on me earlier. Okay, cool, a lot more gold. And where haven't I been around here? Oh, get that TNT. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, it's gonna be another one of these sections which last time. These really kicked my butt, but they also gave me some gold. And that time I was able to save the lightning arrows for it, so I was able to clear it out super quick, which is huge. Got him. So I just love this setup a lot. It's working out good. Oh man, oh, now I'm in trouble though. Gotta be careful, oh no! I just barely used that potion in time again. Gotcha. Don't get, let the creeper get me. Cause that's what I'm noticing, is that we do hit pretty hard, but they will hit us just as hard and knock us out if we're not careful. So not getting caught is sort of the big trick with this one. Get rid of you, and I think we're coming up on the end of this. There might be another cave at the end, which would be great. There is? Yes, there is, awesome. Oh, let's get you. They're trying to sneak up behind me, not on my watch. So we're almost back to level 77, which is nice. Because I can understand there not being loot drops in levels like these, because I feel like it would defeat the purpose of sacrificing your loot, but not getting level ups would have definitely stunk, because, you know, it, it takes a lot of work to level up our characters, not as much as it does, you know, or at least it takes less work to get loot than it does to level up. So, can understand that, but the, the levels, I wanna be able to continue to get, and it looks like they got that, so that's good. Because I hadn't realized it was reducing my level count itself. I thought it was just taking it from my available enchantment points, but no, it doesn't work that way. So, I definitely want to try to earn back whatever levels I get, but I'm sure that there has to be like a maximum level, right? Probably 99 or something. And if that's the case, it's probably where we wanna start sacrificing our levels, because if not, we're not earning the enchantment points anyways. Okay, so for now, I think there's a little section up here. Yeah, I haven't gotten to. And I might just wanna wait here for now, wait for this one to lower. Gotcha. Oh, 
we're not going to go crazy with it until I do that. There we go. And that's going to be another chest for us, another couple of gold bars. So how many gold bars are we up to in total at this point? We have to wait for it to change in the bottom right. We're up to 84, so we've more than doubled our gold bar count from last time. So there is definitely a benefit to playing at an easier difficulty if you can survive for longer, because you're just going to get more gold bars out of it. Okay, back over this way. Let's see what else is there. I don't think there's too much, so I think we're just good to continue off here. Can I beat you before you hit me? I guess not. If I could just grab the apple and go back out. I'm trying to save these lightning arrows for when there's a bunch of enemies popping up, but there's actually not too many around here. There's a couple more. Defeating enemies can still give us uh, gold bars at experience, so those two things are worth it. But is this the end of it? Or is this gonna be level two or something? Whoa. Open the floodgates. So we haven't made it this far at all. So whatever's after this point, I'm really not sure. I'm guessing this is maybe where we can attract one of the ancients. I, I really am not sure how the ancient part works. The whole ancient hunt thing. Got it? Gotta get rid of those spawners as soon as we can because those can be nasty. So there's that little side path done. Hmm. Here's another one. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's this guy down here. Okay, get rid of him. Anything that can spawn stuff in from a distance is always quite dangerous in this game. Oh, here's some extra supplies. Once again, we'll save the bread. The one we really need it because we're doing pretty well on health. And I think up this way, a couple more enemies. Gotcha. Gotta wait for the web to clear. Definitely grab those arrows out. We have a ton of arrows at this point, 480 of them, because this weapon occasionally saves the arrows, and that's really good. That's, that's another thing that makes this bow specifically so good. Okay, getting some decent stuff over here. I'm gonna open that up and keep it moving. Another gold bar. Oh, and we reached another nether portal. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Is there anything in here? No, that's just a dead end. Whoa, whoa, I died from that? Uh, okay, well, I mean, I didn't lose a life, but still I lost health. That was weird. I don't know how to feel about that one, but I did get a little pig there. Okay, so we're still trying to get somewhere to open floodgates. Now I don't trust that. I guess I was just falling off the side of the map or something. Let's see what else is around right now. It is our level up. There we go. So we earned the one enchantment point we sacrificed to get into here already. So if we could keep working on that, maybe get to level 78, that'd be nice. But maybe we can. Why does the health bar look all sort of voided out? Oh, no, there it is. Never mind. I guess it just takes a second. I didn't know if maybe that would be an interesting sort of limitation if they made it. You can only earn back your enchantment points. You can't gain any extra. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. So lots of enemies to take on around here. Oh gosh, ah, oh, couldn't get you in time. So I'll use my potion now. There's so many enemies everywhere. Oh, I didn't even see these blazes. It's like, where's the fire coming in from? Right over here. Quite a crazy nether stronghold we're dealing with right now. But I do need to backtrack, because there's lots of ways to go, it seems. And I want to make sure we get as much as we can out of all this, because we have to sacrifice things to get here. We'll use our lightning arrows right there, because we've got the enchanted vanguards coming in. Got it, and the chest waiting for us. Pretty cool. And this is more or less a dead end. I think we're closing in on 100 gold bars, so really looking forward to seeing, oh, not the pit, I'm sorry, Panda. Okay, so. Yeah, let's get back over. We're at 96 golden bars. That's pretty exciting. Gotcha. And back down this way. That wasn't too bad, but it's another dead end. I keep seeing the little openings and thinking that they're like uh, little dungeon entrances, but they're not. Okay, I really need to, whoa, they're climbing up like crazy. I wanted to try to get, get rid of the spawner. Ooh. Hey, the skeleton horsemen are here. I was like, why is the music different? That's why. We got rid of them pretty easily. I think he was stuck. There's another spawner. Gotta get rid of that first. 
Got it. This stuff is all gonna be bonus. This is sort of like a secret path or side path more specifically, not really secret. We're at 97 gold bars now. So that's everything there. Oh, there's a little tiny slime attacking me. But maybe this goes on forever. I'm not sure if it's one of those things where it just goes on for as long as you can survive or if there is an ending to it. I'd imagine it ends at some point. I guess we'll see. Will we be able to complete our ancient hunt? Okay, so there's another treasure chest for us. This time, get an arrow bundle. Because it's saying 17 out of 19 chests. So I think we are closing in on the end of it. So that's always good to see. But there's still lots of little pocket areas to at least poke around in real fast. Display spawners, plenty of other stuff. But we're over 100 cold bars now. And look at this, there is a side area here. So definitely want to get into that. Ooh, it's like a mushroom cave or spider cave, actually. Oh my. Um, hello? Oh, big button. Let's press that. Oh my gosh. The abominable weaver. Whoa. So this must be one of the ancients. That's what we dealt with before. I understand now. So these big mean guys are the ancients, and we got to go. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know if we can even handle that. I'll, I'll try again, they just don't do much damage. Come on, oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't take any damage there, luckily, but they just spawn in more and more. How am I supposed to do anything? Wow. So the ancients are not to be messed with in the slightest because I just can't get away. And I used my potion there when I shouldn't have. And it doesn't do enough damage to anything. It's crazy. Here, toss it over, and then I gotta run. I don't see how else in the world I'm supposed to, because they spawn right on top of me. It's my last chance. I think we might be better off running away. I don't think I can handle this one, because I just lost so many lives and I've barely done any damage to it. So the ancients really are super duper powerful. That even on a significantly low level like this, where I am hitting them really hard, I'm defeating all the other mobs super easily. I can't even touch that. So I don't know if there's a better way to go about that, at least not with my current build. I'm definitely a bit concerned about all that, so I don't know. So that's what took me out the last time we did an ancient hunt, was the ancient itself. I, I sort of understand how all that works now. Still though, it is technically sort of like new mobs, or at least souped up mods, mobs in ways we haven't seen before. So going back down here, it wants me to go this way for opening the floodgates, so I guess those ancients are just bonuses in a way. Lots to learn though. We're figuring a lot out as we go along too, so that's always good. But I'm still going to make the absolute most out of uh, everything. Gosh, so many people attacking me from every angle. Okay, definitely get rid of this spawner. Another chest. And this thing, now we're at 19 out of 20. This thing said I lost so many lives from that, though. I'm a little bummed. I probably should've just cut my losses sooner, because I'm on my last chance now. I really want to see my way to the end of this. Hopefully it works out, but if not, we will tackle this some other time. Here's another one, and I'm really scared about that. Could it be another ancient waiting for us and just totally destroying us? I'm not sure. I'll take a look really fast. It's gonna be, I, I, gotta, I gotta imagine. Oh, this place is huge. There's no way there's not gonna be a big boss spawning in here. It's a button again. Do I do it? Do I risk it? Oh my gosh. The unbreakable one. And maybe this one I can actually handle. So far it seems like I could, but it's fast. It's really fast. No, 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 no. Go, go, run, run. There's no way it can fit through there, right? It can't, it can't, it can't fit through. No, it can't, it can't. Ah! Okay, what do I do here? I'm just gonna pelt it with as many arrows as I can. Um, no, 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 oh, I gotta go. No! <laughs> ah, this is so tough. So I think I might return to this when we're stronger and we're sort of better at the game than I am right now because that was such a struggle, but I had a lot of fun with it. And unfortunately, you know, I do lose out on some things, but I do gain other things. I got a lot of gold bars from that adventure. So hopefully we can spend them on something at some point. Because as you can see, 
I need to complete the ancient hunts to actually unlock more slots. So if you guys want to see more episodes, I'm going to go ahead and restock this. There we go. Whoa. So here we got Void Touch Blades. You can see they're gilded, so it increases the attack speed by one or something. I'm not really sure how that works. But very interesting for sure. So definitely, if you guys want to see more of the ancient hunts, definitely let me know. But for right now, let's take a look at our other stuff. It doesn't look like we have a ton to buy at the moment. In fact, most things, why is there only one? Let's restock and see if it gives me more. There we go. Oh, is this better than what I currently have? 63, 135, 30. Um, let's see, where is it? Um, my lightning arrows that I have equipped. Oh, they're right here. Yeah, so a lot better actually. Yeah, a lot better. So I'm gonna buy that and definitely just replace it. Um, so if I go to my artifacts, boom, that's a huge jump up, super exciting. So maybe we can sacrifice that at some point. Um, maybe we can get some random things here. I got an Eye of the Guardian, uh, random range weapon, Harpoon Crossbow is always nice. So we can just get stuff like that. And I think that's really gonna be it for now. Uh, I do wanna see how the blacksmith, again, nothing's made progress here because we need to complete adventures. So that's just where the ancient hunt can get really difficult and it's definitely like the latest of late game content. I think next episode we'll try out the tower, which is a little bit different, I think. And we'll see how that goes. But definitely seems pretty fun overall. I'm having a lot of fun with the game, even after we beat a lot of the DLC. So there is more stuff to explore if you guys wanna see it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.